technology has made giant strides and we have to ensure that we make the best use of technology in the service of the people. The importance of land as reflected in Panch Tattva, earth or land is one of the five basic elements in nature and it is of immediate relevance to human beings. The immortal Do Bigha Zameen and Mother India movies are clear examples of the importance of land in a human's life. Accurate land records are clearly of utmost importance to one and all. Land mapping is not something new for India. The Harappan town planning, examples of Lothal and other towns clearly indicate that our ancient civilization understood the importance of land mapping. However, the British introduced the present land mapping system that we have adopted and now we wish to modernize. The project resurvey of Gujarat state under National Land Records Modernization Program NLRMP NLRMP is aimed at making the land mapping a participatory, transparent and accurate, modernizing the land records of the entire state. The resurvey work is being done through widespread and continuous interaction with local people, the end users and all the stakeholders using the latest technological tools of ETS and DGPS. Gujarat has taken the initiative in starting and implementing the project. This pioneering effort of Gujarat state has already seen the initiation and completion in several districts of the state. As the name suggests, resurvey simply means doing the survey of the land again to reflect accurately the ground truth in the new records. Resurvey is necessary when over 25% old records are lost or they are in a torn, either dilapidated stage. More than 30 years have passed since the previous survey. Developments like canals, roads, construction of dams, land acquisition for development work have changed the ground reality. Other reasons of resurvey using the digitization technology are accurate land records, reflecting land use, topological features and various features like trees, dams, canals, roads, etc. Quick land dispute settlements at local levels. Identify land encroachment on government or private lands. Uniformity of records at gram, district and state levels. Records will be long-lasting and enable quick retrieval. Surveying, also called ground truthing is essential to make the land records match ground realities. Changes on ground happen due to mutation or change in ownership pattern by division of land due to succession, land acquisition for development work, amalgamation or merging of different land parcels under one land parcel due to buying or acquiring of land, building of infrastructure like dam, roads, etc backlog of measurement in case of land grant by government, unauthorized use of non-agricultural land and other backlog of measurement. Intentionally or unintentionally encroachment of land takes place by holder. There are three methods of surveying. 100% physically surveying every piece of land. Hybrid surveying through aerial photography using a plane and then partial physical survey. Satellite imaging, mapping by remote sensing technology. The present resurvey project is based on 100% ground truthing. The surveyor goes to every piece of land and physically measures the land in the presence of the landholder. 
As additional data tools, it also uses aerial and satellite imaging where required. The project was started with detailed and minutest planning, which culminated in the development of Resurvey Manual in 2012. The manual details out the exact objectives, procedures, and the role of each agency and stakeholder. Survey agencies are appointed to carry out specific works, but the entire program is under the authority of the state government and every step is carried out with its approval. Gram Sabha is the pivotal starting point of the project. The survey agency prepares a detailed timetable of organizing Gram Sabhas and submits to DILR. After it is finalized by Deputy Collector, the timetable is conveyed to Gram Panchayat, TDO, Regional Officers, Mamladdar, etc. The Gram Sabha is organized under the chairmanship of the Sarpanch, where the Talati acts as the secretary. All efforts are made to maximize the presence at the Gram Sabha through widespread publicity. DILR, Mamladdar, and other revenue and record officers remain present in the Gram Sabhas. The farmers are given a detailed explanation on why resurveying is done, what are the benefits, the process of resurveying, and how the presence of the landholder is important at the time of the survey. Even the instruments used in the survey are also demonstrated at the Gram Sabha. This is followed by a detailed question-answer session, so all the doubts are clarified. A Gram Samiti is also constituted at the Gram Sabha to facilitate the work of resurveying and to take care of grievances at a later stage. Land parcel-wise survey dates are sent to the Gram Panchayat well in advance and widely displayed at Panchayat and other commonly used places. Also concerned landholders are requested to remain present on the specified date. Prior to the survey, the existing data from the 712 records is entered in Form A. This contains the ownership, land use and all other relevant data. The survey is conducted in the holder's presence. The landholder physically shows the boundaries of his land and the surveyor marks appropriate points for measurement. On completion of the survey, the holder's signature is obtained in the register indicating that the survey was carried in his presence. The newly surveyed data is entered in Form B that will include information on area, land use, new plot number, etc. Form B records will be prepared for all land, private or government in a village. After completion of the ground truthing survey, the process of digitization is undertaken. The draft digitized maps are now given to each landholder and the panchayat. In the new records, the data of 7 and 12 are given separately. The data of 7 is about the ownership of the land and the data of 12 indicates the land use, crop pattern and other related data. Form C will contain the entire land data after adjudication and this will be considered as the final land data. The records will reflect the boundaries of the land parcel, the roads, wells, bow wells, trees, telephone and railway lines, dams, village boundary, etc. with unique symbols and color scheme. Landholders are given a time of 10 days to raise objections. Modern land survey and record created during the old cross staff and chains method are not comparable. Hence, the landholders are requested to accept the divergence of 5%. Most objections and grievances are settled at the village level itself with the help of the Gram Samiti. If not, it may be taken up for adjudication at a higher level. Finalized maps and records are given to individuals and also preserved in modern record rooms. Over 130 such record rooms are already operational in the state of Gujarat.
advantages of resurvey with modern technology availability of accurate and updated land records to the people accurate digitized and easily updatable land records means transparent land administration for the people individual land record will reflect the longitudinal and latitudinal position of the field it will eliminate the role of middlemen and the agents the records can be made available on internet or GSWAN. Easy availability of record through civic centers and information via info kiosk. Easy maintenance, checking and updating of record. New village form number 7 with land parcel map leads to transparency and easy understanding of record to people. Work of District Inspector of Land Records Office can be made fully computerized. As seen earlier, presently the amalgamation or mutation data exists only in textual form and are not reflected in the land maps. This technology will help in online synchronous changes in the spatial and textual data. Any change at the ground level will simultaneously and automatically reflect in the maps. This project marks the beginning of an era of maps that are clear, accurate, transparent and participatory using the modern technology. In the days to come, it will lead to lessening of disputes, better utilization of natural resources, better town planning, and a better way of life for the individual, the community and the state. The resurvey work is in full swing. It is already nearing completion in 10 of the 26 districts and the tenders have been floated for another 13 districts. The entire project is likely to be completed by the end of 12th five-year plan. This joint project demonstrates that it is possible to modernize land records with active involvement of the people. Conditions may vary from state to state, but clearly Gujarat's example shows that it is something that can be done with proper preparations, planning, participation and perseverance. So let us all together move on a new journey for the development of our beloved country, India.